Yo, what up gamer? Today we're working with Johnny's Knives. Uh, this item is actually part of the Warp Zone item pack, uh, which was suggested to me, and this is one of the items that I found in it, and it is absurdly insanely cool. There are basically two homing knives that go and just kill everything, and whenever you kill something with knives, it actually leaves a, a pool of creep that you can use, and the amount of creep that drops is actually dependent on how much mass the enemy has, so, you know, the bigger the lad, the bigger the creep. Watch out, Mega Fatty, I'm on my way. As well as the fact that whenever you kill something with these knives, you get a tears up for the room. Just completely, undeniably broken on all ends, and it just looks cool in general with knives flying around. So I kind of wanted to spotlight it. We'll also maybe come across uh, some of the other new items the Warp Zone pack uh, kind of provides, because I did see a couple of them, and they seem pretty cool. A lot of the items actually seem to be references to other indie games, which I very much appreciated. I saw Captain Viridian, I saw Nuclear Throne, etc, etc. Hotline Miami was in there, so I, I really do like the designs of all the items, because a lot of the items in Isaac are just references to other indie games, just like this. We roll this, get a fire rate up, I'll take it. As well as Johnny's Knives, I believe. I could be wrong, but I know Edmund did a whole Johnny thing with Four Souls. I don't know where he comes from. Could be a different Johnny, but eh, oh well. I want to see just how much damage Johnny's Knives does against a boss. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> What? What happened there? And why was it so much? A genuine actual quality 4 gongo item. Important to note as well is that Johnny's knives only home while you're holding down the shoot button. I could be shooting completely anywhere and you know, they'll just start going like that. But if I just tap the shoot button, they'll start homing but immediately come back to me like this, as you can clearly see. But I've also found that you can use this as a bit of a strategy to constantly refresh the knives going back and forth. And then it becomes really fun. That also looked like it did contact damage i gotta confirm this oh my god i can just walk around <laughs> you even get the tears up from killing them with contact damage that's really cool cursed room and here stone chest some stuff cursed eye i'll take it man whatever i'm down and dirty with it honestly i'm gonna be holding down the shoot button basically the entire run so a charge shot is more than enough for me another guaranteed item in here we get spider bite i want to see if johnny's knives actually can proc tear effects so this is cool we may just be able to test this out and see what happens. Then again, I suppose I would have already been seeing tier effects because I have uh, the whole fear thing happening, so maybe not. I mean, if I just hold down shoot and let the knives do their thing this entire time, eventually I should see a tier effect, no? I'm not seeing anything. I'm beginning to believe it's not the case. Boom. Yeah, you know what? I'm calling it. I don't think the knives can inherit any kind of tier effects. Interesting. I'll check the devil. Why not? Okay, listen. I mean, co uh, come on. Come on. <laughs> the best triple knife run ever? I have to. Roll this? Yes, definitely. Hey, really good devil room. I see absolutely no reason why I should not head down to downpour because I have Johnny's knives and mom's knife. Knife extravaganza. No amount of bread could ever stop me. At this point, all I need is like a spoon better sacred heart type deal, give my mom's knife some homing, and we are in business. Treasure room right again, and nothing. <laughs> I, I almost just want to take it. Like, I, I really do. It would be a stupid play, but it would be funny. Ah, uh, nah. Oh my. Sometimes you just got to give up the funny and get the money. Oh my lord, that cricket's body is huge. Not really exactly because it has no synergies, but you know, I mean, a sprite looks really cool. So just think about that. There it is. God damn, look at that thing. I want to see something real quick. What happens if I tap shoot and I just make the knives go constantly back and forth? It seems pretty effective. Not as effective as just using your tears, but it's more fun. Fun, honestly, because I really just like the sound that plays when I uh, hit enemies with this knife. We get torn photo. That's great. Don't pass this up. Never ever. And it looks like we've done a lot on the floor, but we can still go mirror dimension. So it ain't over just yet. Boom. Going ghost. Free curse room for my troubles. Soul heart, soul heart, and tallo. Hello, what? Uh, I mean, this is a kind of a roll, definitely. I yeah, 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 you take the lusty blood. You gotta be careful there, because even if you proc becoming the lost with Mirror Dimension, it still counts as you only getting a single devil item, so make sure you always take the better one first. But Lusty Blood is a big take, and I appreciate it. Just never-ending slaughterhouse with these items, it's so good. And to be honest with you, just very satisfying seeing them kind of whiz around and just kill everything. Like, boom, boom, you're all dead. Reminds me of, hi, Leech, what are you doing here? Uh, probably 
take you and just roll uh, the knife piece. Reminds me of, uh, I forgot his name, blue guy, Guardians of the Galaxy. He had a cool character arc and he was really cool. He did the whistle and then the, the thing went whizzing around and killed everyone. You know what I'm talking about. Reminds me of that. And honestly, that guy is dope. So having something similar to that in Isaac, you've gone and fulfilled my dreams. Thank you very much. A roll for the knife piece. We get piercing. I, I can't make that up. All right. Look at this, they're the ultimate counter to these little wisps because they're homing no matter what. I don't even need to be aiming at them whatsoever. Just hold a direction, hold shoot. I'm not even shooting, I got mom's knife. But it's fine because those knives are just gonna go crazy and do the work for you. And the true test for as much damage as I have, here you go, here's mom's knife plus Johnny knives, skip the face completely, and get placenta, which is okay. Stop gaming. Ooh, you know what? I got a trinket already. I'll take extra trinket room. Bible tract is kind of mid, but I'll take it. Oh, well, I could do some things though. We'll keep it. I think this is definitely the type of run that seems more than powerful enough with Johnny Knives uh, to definitely tackle on Ash slash Mines. We get Ash. Not the Pokemon one. The one that's like a pit. That's not good. Very scary situation, but I think we can handle. Let's go curse room right away and get Dark Prince's crown. Look, it's snazzy as ever. Already came across the treasure room right away. Hold on, I just need to hide behind this block. Someone's about to clueless me. All right, what's going on in here? Dad's key. Uh, roll. Fire mind? Blind? Uh, I would have taken both. I would say fire mind, juicy sack. They're like on the same level. No? Agree? Disagree? Yes, no? Feels like it to me. Like, I'll, I'll take both. If I had to choose one, I really feel like I wouldn't care. <laughs> Like that's, that's my, uh, that's my actual genuine consensus. I feel like if I was in a room, gun to the head, and the guy holding the gun, willing to shoot, said to me, Hey, you gotta pick between fire, mind, and juicy sack. I would say, you know what? I, I just, I care so little about this conversation. Just whatever, I don't care. <laughs> whatever though, mid items aside, we get habit here, which is not mid. It's absurdly good, especially with D6. Grab a soul heart, and I think this is probably where the boss is. Soul of Isaac as well? Okay. Didn't get a deal last four, so we can use it here. I, I, it's late again. I shouldn't have, uh, I gotta record earlier because I was not supposed to scream. Give me the magic mushroom though. How the hell did I get that? <laughs> Nothing in the world else matters when you get magic mushroom from a mushroom spawn. You don't understand. It just like, everything goes crazy in my brain. Way too fast of a serotonin hit. I don't even know why I'm bombing more mushrooms. That's how dazed I am. Why am I going for more? I just got it. Hello? Give me the box. All the pickups in the world. Golden key. We gotta speed up. We did reveal the secret room with the sun card. Let's go check that real quick. And I think I'm good to go because I, I literally got a magic mushroom. I can't complain. That was the first time I've had like that much of a visceral reaction as well. Uh, hi. What the heck are you doing here? Roll? Flip. I don't have a use for you. That, that kind of sucks. I've never before physically covered my mouth when I didn't want to speak, uh, but that was the first time. The first time for everything and now I experienced it. I now know why people do that in the movies. It's not just made up. It's actually a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> you see that one knife that just didn't know what it wanted to do with itself? It could not decide where to go. He was so damn lost, that was crazy. I suppose I could use my soul of Isaac right here. It would feel like a waste, but whatever. We gotta, we need to go deeper. Which leads to a cross base, which leads to a black market, which leads to a, uh, a battery pack. There you go. Ah, uh, not the case. I'll take the money and I'll leave. Thank you though, for the uh, gulp and the speed up. That was really worth actually. Bit of a silver lining there. Okay, next floor, let's go. 100% deal chance on the blind floor. Binding of Isaac, you're such a prankster. What are you doing to me? Well, it's not like I don't have a double chance anymore. Whatever I get, I just need to walk in there. But devils are better than angels for blind because you can at least see the heart value and know that when you see a two heart deal, you should probably take it because it might just be brimstone. Bob's curse from the red chest, not too important. But hey, could matter. I don't know. Probably not, <laughs> but it, it could. Devil beggar, let's pay this guy out. He's gonna need about four charges. I mean six charges. Sorry, I forgot how hard mode works. You get a full health pill? <laughs> I understand. Old bandage. Man, what is with you? You're crazy. Pay out, homie. Come on. What? You paid out with nothing. <laughs> Was that a fake payout? Like uh, like you switched your hands around me? Like you did a sleight of hand thing, a magic trick? Uh, like without me looking? I don't know what you gave me. You gave me nothing. Thanks for the spirit of the night, I guess. 
Dude, these demon beggars, man, I swear, they're out to get me. Nothing but malicious intent with those guys. I know you can see it in their eyes, don't deny it. All right, Hornful fight. Hey, by the way, I've been meaning to say this, but Hornful in uh, Anti-Birth used to have a bit of an animation where he used to go fast and he'd leave a trail behind him and it looked really cool. For some reason in Repentance, they kind of removed it, but here you go, you can see it right here. It looks way better in my opinion, it just feels better. Uh, that was an Anti-Birth, they got removed. Uh, there was this super awesome mod that came out that just kind of reintroduced it back into the game. Made by a really cool person who just makes awesome mods in general. So shout outs to them for bringing that back. Thank you for making that mod. You're super cool, dude. Uh, I'll take high tops. What? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> high tops? That's that's new. That What new Isaac patch came out overnight? I didn't see. Uh, well, high tops, I guess, are a new boss item. It's a speed up and it can be exceeding past the speed cap. So past 2.0. Staying very near to enemy charms it. Oh, like it actually has a, a literal effect. That's cool. What about in here? Krampus. Well, this makes our decision uh, kind of ass, actually. I can't take advantage of cold. Let's roll it no matter what. I'll take it. Whore of Babylon uh, is an anti-synergy with Dark Prince's crown, and they should fix that in my opinion because it really makes devil deals feel weird. <laughs> Imagine, okay, take it like this. You go into the angel room and you find a uh, crown of light. Boom. Okay, cool. Crown of light. That's awesome. When all your red hearts are filled, you get double the amount of damage. And then imagine you go to the next uh, angel room and then you find, I, I don't know, goddamn like Isaac's mug or something. And Isaac's mug is an angel item that makes it so uh, whenever you have one and a half red hearts, you get three times as much damage. Uh, congratulations, you've just made angel rooms feel like ass. That's kind of what devil rooms do with the Whore of Babylon and Dark Princess Crown. It doesn't really uh, feel correct. What are you? Oh my god, end is nigh reference, so base, hello. I picked up Paul of Tumors. It's bombs, hearts, and keys, and batteries, sorry, have a small chance of turning into collectible tumors. Collecting tumors powers a tumor orbital, which blocks shots and deals contact damage. With enough tumors, a second orbital will spawn. Cool. Well, I now have new collectibles I gotta find. Reference to End is Nigh, again, a lot of this Warp Zone pack because it's the Warp Zone, Super Meat Boy, references a bunch of indie games. Warp Zone! Uh, just like Meat Boy Warp Zones where it was just a bunch of indie crossovers as well as Half-Life for some reason. <laughs> this mod introduces a bunch of indie crossovers and we can see that with the end is nigh, which is super cool. Golden Bomb into Curse Room play, Black Sack. Black heart and a couple of pills. Full health is okay. I'd rather take a sun, which is just better. My gulped blind rage trinket there actually let me get out that curse room for free. That was sick. And I'm rewarded with a golden teleport 2.0, which I'll take a blind into a bozo. Definitely a combination for the ages. Go get him, Johnny Knives. Yeah, just go and swipe everything. Johnny Knives also gave me a crawl space. You're too kind into Aquarius. Now I really do want homing. What the hell? I have not seen any of those apparent new end is knife pickups. Waiting for more of those to show up so I can get my orbital going apparently. Keeper's box, I have just so much money I might as well. It'd be lazy of me not to do it. So you know, let's go and do it. Let's go find the secret room, plop it in here. You never know, I could get an item. This is assuming I can find the secret room. <laughs> I can't find it. I can't believe it actually. What? It's actually in the place I have not checked yet. The one place the secret room could be is because I don't know the map yet. That makes way more sense. Goodbye greed. Oh wow. Another one. Oh wow. See this is why you don't get lazy man. You know you put a mat in the middle there and you got something special. <laughs> Reroll. Ooh. I mean pretty good. Damage is damage. Damage will always be damage but damage doesn't feel that important right now. A more roll into more hype. Oh, yes. Most definitely taking you. I already have flight, so no thank you to these. Missing nose spirit shackles are okay. They're fine. Nothing too crazy, though. Still potential for more rolls, though. Definitely super secret room down here. Uh, into eternal hearts. Nice. We have a mob challenge room still available to farm another D100. Or D6 through D infinity, sorry. And then I think that'll be our last roll. And we might get something godly. I mean, we already did with D infinity. And it just goes to show just how overpowered Johnny Knight are man yeah i have mom the knife but i'm really not even shooting it half the time i'm just gonna let the johnny knives do the thing because it looks way cooler how about every single final boss i come across i have to make it so johnny knives is basically my only dps like i won't shoot mom's knife whatsoever i'll just shred them i think that would be really fun 
Roll these double mushroom. Every mushroom in the world, including magic mushroom a bit earlier ago. Uh, doing this could ruin my whole plan that I literally just said, but also it's mega mushroom, so who cares? 40 boys. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait here uh, and maybe time lapse it and just show you guys the shredding damage because it'll look cool. Done. Finally, oh my lord. Maybe I won't do the whole Johnny Knives on the final boss thing because that kind of took a while, but it was fun while it lasted. All right, let's go Mausoleum 2, please. Oh yeah, that's the good. I could have kept re-rolling, I guess. I had habit. Oh well. Hey, that's what I care about. I care about these guys. These guys are new. Reroll with habit, secret room. Hello, are you kidding me? That ain't new. This guy is new. Is he bigger? He seems bigger. What about in here though? Contagion. I'm thinking reroll. Uh, uh but the blind. What the hell? <laughs> I uh, become a spelunky. What does the golden idol do? Player has a 50% chance of receiving a fading nickel when the room is cleared. Getting damage causes the player to lose half their money. What? Okay, cool. Dropping some of it on the ground as fading coins. When the player is holding money, damage is always at one full heart. Okay, so is this basically like you just get a bunch of money but a bunch of nerfs otherwise? Because <laughs> I don't I don't need that. <laughs> Gilded key. I got the keys for that. Most definitely. Shop as well. Roll. I might be too late. I'm gonna roll. Ah. Hierophant, I guess. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm a little afraid that I might not have a roll for a potential deal here, but I, I went with the risk. I think I'll be okay. Oh yeah. No, we're, we're, we're fine. Never mind. <laughs> All right, mom fight. I'm not gonna do the knife thing, but I'll just kill her real quick. That's way easier. With your own knife, actually. We got Polaroid. We got negative. I'm feeling like it is time to go down. Give me that damage. Ooh, well, a little late for planetarium chance, I believe. Okay, Lacrophigy. I don't know if this will really work. We're gonna need a bit more to have that synergy proc, but it's worth something. At least I know it could have potential in the future, you know? Are you also gonna pay out with absolutely nothing for no reason? Or are you gonna do something for me? Hey, a pill. Speed down. Ow, okay. <laughs> and there you go. You can see that we actually did go past the speed cap. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Last one for me. I cannot believe you. These demon beggars are out to get me. What the hell? <laughs> They do not want you succeeding whatsoever. All right, it lives fight right away. I'm just gonna hold the knife right in front of you. Johnny Knives will do some work. Mom's knife will do the majority. I ain't even gonna shy away from that. Let's be real. <laughs> we got some bookworm progress that I'll take. And then I'll roll. Okay, yes, definitely. Backstabber Johnny Knives. I am so excited to just hear as many like shink, shink, shink as things as possible. I started playing Baldur's Gate like for the first time ever. And I never liked Dungeons and Dragons things like not never sorry i played a little roll 20 here and there but it, it's never really that much for me but i tried Baldur's gate because you know everyone loved it started playing like a little rogue stealthy type build i enjoyed it very thoroughly very much in a sword mood which is one of the reasons i yeah i don't want to do this to be honest with you and it feels great it feels good with all that said though it's time to go down to shoal say hello to satan and get a bunch of items on the dark room oh four chests gilded key going nuts is there any reward though? No. Actually, wait, I'm sorry. I thought this was a pickup. This is just a new item. What? What's with you? Isaac is able to shoot small piercing arrow tiers that deal uh, a lot more damage. Capacity depends on your tier rate. Once the ammo is depleted, Isaac fires normal tiers. When a tier lands, it drops an arrow that will replenish one tier when collected. Okay. Does it work with mom's knife though? <laughs> I, uh, hold on. Okay, well, I, I, yeah, we'll just go fight. We'll go fight. Thanks for the bow and arrow. I mean, I see I have an arrow indicator above me. Am I supposed to do anything? Isaac is able to shoot small piercing arrows. I feel like it might not just not work with mom's knife. That uh, that might be what's going on here. I'll, I'll check that later. But honestly, I am just happy that we are coming across a lot of new items. I, I did not think we would come across that many. We came across like maybe four or five. I was thinking I was just gonna have fun with Johnny Knives, go, you know, mess around, maybe reroll a secret room and that was it. But I got a lot more than I bargained for here. Now I am getting hit a lot, but that's just because I want my health to be low. So the Satan fight gets real interesting. Whenever Johnny Knives just come close to uh, an enemy, it just happens goodbye fallen you were never nothing to me also you satan you as well you're you're dead also your thick as hell thighs are also gone and i'll enter this chest with a double nickel to boot 
Okay, dark room with a res. Check all of these. I forgot that gilded key would make these not devil items, but it's okay. I don't care too much. Continuum. Would this work with, with Johnny Knives? Should I test this? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna roll, to be honest with you, and maybe get conjoined instead. That seems more fun. I'll also do this, because why not? Uh, all right, well, man who says why not immediately discovers why not. All right, you know what? I won't shy away from it. I'll do it. For the lamb fight, I'll go Johnny Knives only. I'll just hold down my shoot button and let the knives do the work with my low HP. Become the literal shredder and see what happens. I wonder if they stack. I bet they do. No way, actually. There's no way they stack. If they did, that would be crazy. I saw a reverse card back here. Reverse fool. I got rid of my D infinity. Sorry. <laughs> what if I crooked penny this? We need to go deeper and get a second one. Oh my god. Okay. You know what I'm also gonna do? I'm gonna risk it all. You think I'm satisfied with some freebies just from you? No, video game. I require far more. No hand-me-outs here. I go full gamble at all times. There you go. Oh my god, it's a nuclear throne reference? <laughs> this is from Young Venus. Double tap to fire two three times damage tiers in a burst. Okay, let me try it out. This is a mob's knife moment for real for real. Be right back. Check this out. Pop, pop. There you go. That's all it does. All right. <laughs> I actually don't have enough keys for all of these. This is another new item. Hello? Possession. Each room, one random non-boss enemy will be permanently charmed. These enemies carry over between rooms and 15 enemies can be charmed at a time. Taking damage removes the charm from all affected enemies. So it's basically stackable enemy charm. I guess we can see how many enemies we can get before we end up finding the lamb. Hello? <laughs> Is something- something wrong here? Okay, that is some weird programming thing with Isaac. Good to know. I guess, uh, the chain counts as an enemy and only when it despawns. Am I allowed to be free? I did not know that. That's cool. I actually don't have enough keys to open that entire, like, shovel we need to go deeper room. But it was about the gamble. The gamble was the fun part. Not, like, what was inside the items. Who cares about that? It's the fact that I got the potential to have those items. What a weird secret room. What a what an absolute weirdo. I don't know why you want to be quirky, but you do. Well, imagine how legendary it would be if I hit another one. Okay, let's use our key somewhere else then. I felt good about this place. I shouldn't have. It's belly button. Uh, this doesn't even do anything for me, no? I wonder why you can have so many items that give you extra trinket room, but they don't stack. Like, you can't have three. I guess three trinkets is kind of broken, but it's not like you get it all the time. Oh, well, shrug my arms. I'm simply going to, uh, let the knives do the work. I think Mark makes them a little weird, but they're going to work. Don't worry about it. I'm simply going to aim far away uh, and try and dodge. Give myself a bit of a challenge while also showcasing off the knives. Sounds like a win-win to me. Unless I get hit one more time, uh, in which case I will most definitely just hit him one time with mom's life and kill him immediately there you go second phase this is where it gets kind of weird a little dicey i healed somehow it's pretty good uh oh another hit that's okay no old bandage proc but i'm still with it i'm still clutching it don't hurt me okay time to you're dead sorry you're completely done, Zo. I'm sorry I baited you, Lamb, into thinking you were gonna kill me, but that's about it. Warp Zone seems really cool, and I want to check out the other items as well, dude. Uh, GG's.